Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at Dirt Rally running on Intel HD 520 graphics. Um, this is the latest in the Dirt series from Codemasters, uh, originally started out as the Colin McRae series. As you can see here, we are running at 1366 by 768 and the low detail preset. And I'm just going to use the um, built-in benchmark in the game. Um, performance not too bad, we're generally over 30 frames per second throughout, um, which should be enough to play this if you want to give the game a go sort of on the move on your Ultrabook or HD 520 equipped system. Uh, obviously it would be nice if we could have a bit better uh, detail settings, but going to medium took a massive hit on the system. Um, if you do want to boost your frame rate up and get it over sort of a solid 60 frames a second all the time. I did try it on the ultra low preset um, and that came in at something like 100 frames per second average. So there might be a nice uh, middle ground to find between sort of ultra low and low if you're willing to do a bit of tweaking. Um, one thing I did notice while running through the demo, there was some odd graphical corruption in a few places you might see if you stick through to the end of the video. Um, where there was sort of a rainbow effect appearing across the bonnet on these dashboard cameras. Didn't happen all the time, so it's not happening initially. Ah, here we go. So you're getting that strange effect over the bonnet. Um, weirdly, switch camera out to an external view and it goes away. Um, so not too sure about that. It seems if you get it in game, you can just flick through the camera and it sh will go away after you've changed through it a couple of times. So a little bit odd there. Um, doesn't make the game unplayable, something that may be tweaked out in the Intel drivers over time. I am using a beta driver here, so it's perf possible it's not sort of perfectly reliable at the moment. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful, and um, be sure to check out more videos on my channel. We've got a lot more Intel HD 520 gaming videos and other graphics solutions, and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more in future. Thanks for watching.